called the emerald ash borer that has the potential to affect our, our, back, our uh, ash resources. Mankind has been the most important uh, transporter of the insect. It does fly, but this insect traveled over from China. And it landed in, it came in a ship that came through the St. Lawrence River, and it ended up in the port of Detroit. And then that was close to 20 years ago. And ever since that time, people have been transporting firewood. They take it to campsites, they take it to uh, NASCAR races, but basically humans are, are moving it around and they're causing more of a problem. So they're working real hard to, to promote outreach and education to get people to, to stop moving firewood. So that's one way you, you can control it. And another one that they're working on is what they call a bio-treatment where they can use um, a parasitic wasp that actually attacks this particular insect and it only attacks that insect and it will the, the wasp will seek out that insect and and kill it by pl implanting eggs in it and killing it about the purple trap that's used for a surveillance system that consists of a, a triangular shaped trap it looks like a kite it's made out of plastic and um, they put a special lure in there to attract the insect if it's around. Doesn't mean it brings them in. If they're there, they'll find a trap. And then it has a sticky substance in it. And if the insect gets in there, it'll get trapped. And then our technician will take the insect and send it in for identification. The best way to control this is to prevent it. And that's the best money spent. But we're in a situation now where it's in over, um, I think it's over 16 states now. It's in New York State and it's, um, in, in Montreal and it's in, um, is it Morristown or Mallory Town in Ontario. So it's on, it's on our doorstep. 